Uh, this is Hain Pure Foods. Everybody familiar with them? This is an all-natural, uh, oops, wrong crowd, vegetable broth, okay? <laughs> and uh, uh, they have both, vegetable and chicken. And on the label, it says 99% fat-free. On the uh, top label, on the side of the package, it also says 99% fat-free. Now, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure this out. If it says 99% fat-free, how much fat should be in this product? 1%. But what did rule number one tell you? Don't ever believe it. So let's turn it over and let's see. Is this low in fat or is it low in facts? Well, it's got 30 calories. 1% would be 0.3 calories from fat. Is that what we find? No, we find 20 calories from fat, which makes this product 67% fat. Now it says 99% fat free, but it's actually 67% fat. Does that bother anybody? So, how do they do it? Watch carefully. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at some numbers that a few minutes ago I told you to never look at again. The, the only reason I'm going to allow you to look at them for the next few minutes is because we're going to do it under my supervision. Okay? <laughs> Don't try this at home alone. <laughs> what I want you to do is look at the weight of fat per serving. Everybody see it? Two grams. Then I want you to look at the weight of the serving. Now notice these numbers aren't in bold and they're not next to each other. So if you don't know to do this, it's not easy to figure out. Now take the weight of the fat, divide it by the weight of the serving, and you get 0.8% fat, which rounds up to 1% fat or 99% fat free by weight. But here's the problem. Since we've been getting health guidelines in America, all health guidelines have asked you to limit fat as a percentage of calories. Yet every product labeled in the world lists fat as a percentage of weight. There are two different systems that have absolutely no relationship whatsoever. And uh, actually, not only that, do you know that calories from fat weren't even listed on the label until the last update. They used to only list grams, so to get the calories you had to do some math. So they said by consumer demand they listed calories from fat on the label now. But I don't know what consumers they were listening to because that's not what I requested when I wrote them. Because I don't want to know calories from fat. Do you know what I want to know? percent calories from fat. But in order for me to get to percent calories from fat, what do I got to do? I got to do long division. How many Americans shopping around in your typical grocery store in America today, A, know to do that, B, could do that? <laughs> right. But, okay, let's look at all of you. I mean, I know all of you who come to this are, you know, you're slightly more intelligent. You came here this weekend and probably um, pretty well educated. So let's say you went to your doctor and he said, you know, you've got heart disease. You should limit the amount of fat you eat. So you go to the grocery store and you say, I can figure this out. And you pick up a product like this and you look at the nutrition facts label, figuring the government is making this easy for you. And you say, okay, let's see what we got here. First thing you see is calories from fat, 20. And maybe you know what to do with that, maybe you don't. Then you see total fat, 2 Gs. Maybe you know what a G is or maybe you don't, but you're glad there's only two of them. <laughs> and then over here it says 3% of a daily value. So they're listing fat three different ways by three different systems in one section. Is that helpful or confusing? You think that's done by accident? No. Now, um, would you like to see how they really get away with this? Um, one of the things Jeff didn't mention is one of my former employees, former employers. Does everybody know who I used to work for many years ago? I used to work for Kraft Foods. Oh. 
Well, that's why I'm here. I'm doing my penance. So yeah, I worked for Kraft Food for about 10 years during the 80s in uh, management. And I was there during all those uh, low fat days. And I will show you exactly what they do, but on one condition. See, when I left Kraft in 1992, I had to sign papers. And the papers said that what I'm about to show you, I can never show anybody. But I will show you on one condition. And you know what that is? Tell everybody. <laughs> Let them sue me. <laughs> I don't have any money. <laughs> okay, here's a little can. Back in the 80s, everything had a lot of fat in it. Fat's got a, you know, it's got a certain texture, a mouthfeel, it's shelf stable. So they like to put it in food. So let's say in this container they put a tablespoon of oil. That's just going to be my example. A tablespoon of oil is 120 calories and 120 calories from fat. So if that's what all was in this little container, this product would be 100% fat. But then 1980 rolls along and everybody wants low fat products. You've got a product that's either high fat or all fat. So now you're stuck. You either got to make a better product or Guess what they did? Right. What they did was add water. Does water have any calories? Does water have any fat in it? So where do all of the calories still come from? Fat. But does water have weight? Yes. It adds 750 grams. So the total is now 764. So take the weight of the fat, divide by the weight of the serving, and you could sell this 100% fat product as 98% fat free by weight. But realize there's never ever been a health guideline for fat based on weight. Now as I said, I was with uh, Kraft during those years and at first we didn't sell a lot of these because nobody liked them. And then somebody had this great suggestion, and no it wasn't me, add America's favorite two seasonings. And now these things sold like hotcakes. And do you know what that is right there? That's pretty much how they make most low-fat, fat-free soup, salad dressing, mayonnaise, all of that. Just water it out. And then maybe a little thickener and some salt and sugar so uh, you don't realize the dilution. So does that bother you? Right. So that's how they fool you. They dilute out the percentage fat by weight. That's why when you go into a grocery store and you buy 1% uh, products, like 1% milk, everybody's fooled. That's 24% fat.